Hey everybody, it's Mike and Leah, uh, still out here in Oklahoma. I uh, just wanted to touch base with everybody um, about last night. Um, as you can see, uh, we're both okay. As, as okay as we can be, as okay as we normally would be. Um, just wanted to give a little bit of information. So, um, those of you that were tuned in last night, you know that we uh, stopped our live feed um, pretty early in the investigation, probably about halfway, uh, a little less than halfway through it. Um, I popped on later on and explained why. I uh, kind of gave some disclaimers on some things that had been going on prior to that, but explained the main reason why we didn't continue with the investigation. So, um, just to give you a little bit of filler, we have, uh, there were some live feeds that were continuing to be recorded um, throughout the night um, from other people there. Um, and I explained we chose to turn uh, terminate our live feed because we couldn't, our focus was to be on the client and not the live feed itself. So we needed to take care of business, so to speak. Um, but there were other uh, live feeds going on. Uh, we have been given permission to share those feeds. So um, at least one of them we will be sharing through our uh, Paranormal Help uh, Facebook page here so that you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what went on after we terminated the uh, live feed. Now, later on in the, sh uh, I keep wanting to say show, um, <laughs> la <laughs> later on uh, in the night, we actually ended up having to terminate all live feeds. It was uh, around, I think, 4 a.m. Uh, that would local be time. local time. Uh, we're in central zone, so those of you that are in eastern, that would be 5 a.m. Um, we had to uh, end all live feeds uh, because the presence that we were dealing with at this location uh, turned very malevolent. Um, and I want to uh, kind of come on and explain um, the dangers of that. So a lot of people probably are like, well, you know, why didn't you continue? Uh, recording why didn't you continue uh, with the film running so you know we could watch it you know that kind of things exciting they do it in the movies all the time but guys there's a real danger to that um, there's a thing called transference transference excuse transference. me transference I've been in Oklahoma too long um, <laughs> there's a thing called transference and whenever something is being cast out of uh, an individual Whoop. wow <laughs> Motion sensor. <laughs> I'm so glad that was dark so you didn't see what I was doing. I saw you jump. Okay. Live TV. So, Leah, take it for a second. <laughs> okay, so transference. So even through electronic uh, means, TVs, radios, uh, live feeds, things like that, it's really no that different than you being there. So in order to, when something's being cast out of a, a person or an area or a residence in this case. It has to go somewhere. It's gotta go somewhere. So we didn't want any potential harm to come to viewers because you're just really very innocent in all of this. You're not here, you don't really, um, ex can't really experience what's going on um, as well as just watching it from where you are but still there is a very real danger of that transferring even through an electronic means and definitely don't want that in your home or your life so we did it out of safety reasons um, actually all live feeds at that point were were shut off uh, while we battled this thing so so the live feeds that we're gonna share um, and actually, as soon as we uh, end this feed, I will probably go ahead and um, uh, it's interesting that you quote that there, Mr. Morgan. Um, so whenever this uh, we end this feed and we go back inside, I will uh, at that time go on and share their feed on our page so you can see what happened on up until the point that we stopped. Now, we Leah said we stopped the feed at, what was it, 4? It was about, I want to say it was about 4 a.m. 4 a.m. and? We were in battle for at least over an hour and a half. Hour and a half. I don't recall uh, a lot of the details of that, um, and it's probably a blessing that I don't. Um, but I you do. You're operating in anointing, so you, you're not aware. Um, but we, um, oh, I'm sorry, I was reading what Ed said. But we, um. I mean, we've got you know incredible news. Um, 
the house is clean. Everything's been taken care of. I praise God. Uh, God was all over this place last night. Uh, the Holy Spirit showed up and showed out. And Mike spent the day today um, completely blessing the home, sealing all the entrances and exits, and then also the, the property. Um, so we just sealed and closed. Sealed and closed it, yeah. So this is a huge, yeah. <laughs> so huge success. The homeowner is uh, happier than she's been in a really, really long time. She said she's never felt peace in this home. The, the peace in this today. house. Uh, I know when I woke up at sometime this afternoon, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, the sunlight was shining through the windows. I mean, just the atmosphere in this place has been astounding compared to what it was when we first got here. So, um, now with that being said, now the work comes. Right. Uh, anytime something like this happens, we come in at this point, this is where the, the homeowner, the client, they've got their first steps. And that's where we uh, go from being, we go from being the, uh, the warriors on site to kind of being the, the educators and the support group at this point, um, giving the homeowner information that they can use to prevent uh, things from happening again, and equip, educate, and, and you know, it's it's a way of paying it forward because you know we can bless her, she can bless others. Um, and this community needs it. Yes, so this. And, and, she will now be a beacon and a light to others around her, and a lot of the. Um, the issues in this community that are plaguing people and families. Um, hopefully now they, this is the first step of uh, that spreading throughout the community and not just staying here. I want to give a shout out to our prayer warriors uh, that watch these videos. Even if you don't consider yourself a prayer warrior, if you pray just during your prayers uh, at night or in the mornings, take a moment and pray for, just pray for Oklahoma. Um, there is a uh, there is a principality over this area that is very very strong, and it's something that's going to take uh, a, a, a corporate unity coming together. To uh, that's one of the dogs at the window, yeah. isn't it? Um, they've got two big boxer puppies that are just they're adorable, but they're huge. <laughs> um, but like I said, this 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 community, this this whole area needs um, some prayer. Um, so if you take a time to pray. Uh, just you know, mention this state, mention this area. Uh, a lot of Native American heritage around here. Um, just, I mean, I'm being a little transparent. I don't really share a lot of information, but when I prayed for this, uh, when I blessed this property, uh, one of the things I asked for removal was any curses that had been placed on this land due to um, just anything, anything, um, regardless of who it was. So, I mean, this this area, um, the the. Uh, demographic is large just in this area so I just prayed against any curse that had been laid on the land um, because that's pretty prevalent across the state so just thank you Leah um, Sorry. so just uh, put that in your prayers at night guys uh, pray for the state pray for this uh, just pray for this case I mean we can't give any specifics but God knows what happened here tonight he was here or last night he was here <laughs> so just you know still here still here pray for the uh, Pray for this family. Pray for this uh, client um, because uh, God won last night. We got the victory. Uh, we're fighting not for a victory, uh, but from a victory because He won it on the cross. But uh, we uh, we showed it last night. It was awesome. And continue in prayer also because now when I say the work begins, now this, those steps of course educating and empowering um, in that, but a lot of prayer because uh, the devil will use anything to creep in worry or fear or you know I, I'm just concerned that this might come back or or whatever so it, there's a lot of healing because right. this is very traumatic there's a lot of healing that needs to take place so please keep this family in in your prayers um, and God will heal he'll restore and uh, yeah she she and the family will uh, be like a whole new 
guys, the people in this uh, community, when they drive by this house, they're going to notice a difference in the atmosphere. Absolutely. Um, you can hear the cars driving by. I'm sure they're already noticing, other than the fact there's two crazy people standing out on this front porch that, with a motion sensor light that <laughs> goes out every down. few minutes, um, they think we're jumping up and down to keep warm. <laughs> uh, it's been pretty cold here. It's not so bad tonight, but I think our the first night we were here, it got down into the 20s. It was nightmare. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, again, we'll post that, uh, that feed uh, as soon as we get off here to let everybody see kind of what happened after we went off the air. Um, but then whenever the, there comes a point, I do recall, where I, I'm the one that made the call to cut all the feeds. Um, and then from that point on, just realized um, there was a battle and we won. So. Yeah, God will always win. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Thanks for the time. Betty, you're right. God is good all the time. Uh, see all, all the time? All, all the time. God is Sorry. good. Uh, we're going to go inside and get warm. So see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.